What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today's video is a strange one. Playing some Call of Duty Ghost. You guys remember this game came out in 2013 on a 7 generation and 8 generation consoles. And my wife and I decided as a gag just to boot it up and see how it ran and see what differences we felt compared to say Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And uh, strikingly, I, I can't even believe I'm saying this. The game controls and feels so much better, so much more sound uh, when you're actually aiming. It, it, the net code, the net code of this game, I think is far superior to Black Ops, to uh, any of the more modern Call of Duty games. And even though this game was pretty much a flop when it comes to the consumer, people got kind of agitated with uh, the level design, these gigantic maps. Uh, the bland colors, everything seems to kind of bleed together, but the game just runs incredibly well. And this game here uh, played Saturday. I had a pretty phenomenal game, and I wanted to share with you guys. Let's see what's going on uh, out here. Of course, running the Honey Badger, that's the gun to use in uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. And I'm going ham on him. You know, playing kind of traditional, nothing extra, no jumping and running behind walls and sliding, just kind of traditional boots on the ground Call of Duty. I don't know where that guy was. He completely owned me. I didn't hear him. I didn't have headphones on. Just playing. But as you can see, you know, pulling the gun out and, and shooting, everything seems to feel so much better. For a while, I was thinking that everybody in the game had just kind of lost their skill because I completely dominated and it was going like this many, many games. I had some pretty good games in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well, but I think this here is one for the, for the record books, at least for me. I don't even remember doing this well uh, back when Call of Duty Ghosts was actually out. And uh, the reason I say that is because of the number of kills, not the number of deaths. I think I, I go 37 and 12, I believe. And to me, that's pretty damn good. And once I get started, see that there that's not starting once i get started it kind of goes and goes and goes and I, I put these guys in a hurt locker uh i'm curious though to you guys out there have you ever gone back to play an older call of duty i've been kind of itching to go back and play black ops 2 and see if it still works and see if they haven't broken it um this game still seems to work as intended i know like black ops and some of the older call of duties on playstation 3 and xbox 360 have been kind of uh, modified hackers have kind of taken over the lobbies and turned them into shit uh, but it feels like ghosts still feels like ghosts and somebody has a hind up in the air and it's really irritating me because it's not mine not yet anyway pretty soon i'll have mine you know i, I think i got uh I got uh, a UAV, I have a sentry gun, which I love to run sentry guns. I thought that was a, <laughs> I thought it was an explosive. It's been so long since I played this game, I didn't know if it was an explosive or not. And I have the Hind, and I think I run something kind of similar in Black Ops 4. There's a Black Ops 4 footage I really want to uh, share with you guys too, where I got a ton of kills, number one uh, play of the game, and didn't die at all. I mean, I just completely dominated. Uh, I was trying to do the Worm Squirm. You guys know 402 Thunder and, and Black Worm. Those are the Call of Duty gods out there, at least, you know, as far as commentary and as far as camping. I'm not a camper, per se, but Black Worm, uh, <laughs> Black Worm is a trip. You know, someone I love to listen to and, and watch him troll people. And so he's good friends with 402 Thunder. And uh, Thunder has kind of been given the itch. You know, he wants to try it. And so he goes out and, you know, kind of tries the... Uh, the uh, worm squirm the camping route and he does pretty good at it and so I wanted to try it and I tried the worm squirm and I think I went 23 and 0 in Black Ops 4 uh, I haven't uploaded the footage I've been doing a lot of things on my other YouTube channels uh, but I wanted to at least upload something <laughs> you know kind of present time rather than uh, wait for another six or seven months to upload a video what are you guys playing right now? I haven't even tried Red Dead Redemption 2, believe it or not. Uh, I hear a lot of things about it. I hear a lot of people say it has issues. A lot of people say it's amazing. Uh, and as somebody who was really late to the party to play Red Dead 1, uh, I just feel like, eh, I can wait. I can wait until it, it becomes something I absolutely must play. I haven't even played Spider-Man. I've been playing uh, some VR. I've been playing uh, Firewall Zero Hour on PSVR, which is kind of like uh, Call of Duty or a tactical shooter. And I got my aim gun, so that makes, you know, a big difference in the way that VR plays to me. Uh, I've also been playing, of course, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 with Kate. 
I've been playing some Castlevania Symphony of the Night. You know, they just re-released -re Castlevania uh, Symphony of the Night and um, I forget the other one on PS4. So I've been playing that. Haven't really been messing around with my PC too much. I got a nice gaming PC, but I still love... Oh, that guy didn't even see me. Pay attention, son. I think the kills are about to start coming now. Okay, we got Rascal out. Rascal's ready to give him the business. So waiting for a second. Tagging him. Okay, now it's time to start getting them. I think right now I'm getting ready to rack them up, rack them up. Thunder style. But yeah, the net code in this game kind of blew me away. And, and Kate said the same thing we were playing. It feels so different. You know, rather than feeling like your gun is just flying everywhere every time you pull the trigger, it seems like where you aim at people in this game, you're actually going to hit them. It's not going to take five years for you to do it. You see that? Now it's time to start giving them the business. Got the hind business out now. They're gonna, they gotta, they're gonna have to run and hide somewhere. So where should you put your sentry gun if you know people are gonna hide? Hmm. We gotta figure that out. Oh no, they didn't. I know they didn't. Still got my sentry gun. I think I know exactly where I want to put that. I think I'm gonna get another hind this game too. But it was, you know, believe it or not, it was a lot of fun. I'm thinking sticking, uh, think sticking it right here because people like to hide in those little little tubes. Thinking that might be a good idea since nobody wants to be outside when uh, when the hind comes through and wreaks havoc like it's doing right now. That big pretty shadow flying overhead. This game, man, it's like they missed they missed the mark, but not by a lot. You know, and I know a lot of people really really love this game. Get down, son. Get on, baby. Um, and and I really you know for for one, when it was out, I had a lot of issues with this game. But like looking at a lot of the stuff that's happened since, Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 4, which I think is actually really, really good, Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3. Um, I think that uh, this game handled phenomenally well. If you guys still have it, I implore you to get out and try it again and give it a shot because it feels fucking unbelievable uh, compared to some of the more modern releases. And I think that Sledgehammer kind of really narrowed down the way Call of Duty Chief. Where you at, man? Ooh, get on, baby. Get on. Messing with the beast now. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys hear what the last guy says <laughs> after the end of the match. See the score kind of tripped me out. But yeah, I wanted to sh share this with you guys and kick it with you a little bit. Let me know what you're playing now. Uh, what should I get first, Spider-Man or Red Dead 2? Uh, you, know, you guys know it's easy for me to pick up and play a shooter like this because I can you know, get 10, 20, 30 minutes in when I need to. I know that those games are going to require some serious sit-down time. I got the last two weeks of the year off work which is a really good thing. I think that's it. So I'm going to be spending some time playing games. You guys let me know what I should be playing. Definitely. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, if you enjoy Call of Duty Ghosts, you enjoy listening to me yap, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. 37 and 12, Jesus.